Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Random Craft. Well, last episode was a little bit of a weird one, wasn't it? Uh, we didn't really get around to the things that we wanted to do. We worked a little bit on here. By the way, the Shaolin has grown more. Uh, starting to get a little worried that this experiment is going a little bit better than I was expecting. But, uh, yeah, so... Uh, it, no panda, it's still, it's still empty. Um, yeah. And just to give you guys an update, I have actually been defacing this bamboo forest and uh, working on improving the spawn uh, parameters for pandas around here. But alas, no luck, no pandas yet. But uh, I, I think with the new world depth and the rarity of panda spawns to begin with, um, pandas might be extinct in Minecraft at the moment uh so <laughs> uh i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna keep chipping away at this idea and see if i can actually turn this into a panda farm and get a panda so i can prove a point but uh until then i think it's high time that we actually get around to building some stuff around here and we've been working underground for so long um i i was thinking you know i dug out this whole area and then yeah we still got uh Slimes spawning in here. You shush with your squishy noises. I'm trying to talk. Um, and the sploopy ones too. Okay. Right. I was thinking that I was going to um, make a service elevator sort of thing around here, right? One that goes down, one that goes up. Because I kind of want uh, a slightly easier way to access this underground laboratory from outside and having to go through all of the security checks that I have to do to get around to here. But then I thought to myself, you know, if we're going to have that um, elevator access up at the top, we're going to want to have that secure as well. And you know what? I think it's high time we go and build a little on the surface. Um, probably a good idea for us to go and touch some grass. Touch. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so technically we're not outside just yet, but I thought the first thing we should probably get around to doing is what I promised to do a little while ago, which was the interior of this dome. And I've got a whole bunch of things ready here. Um, that's not just for the interior, that's also for projects that I will be showing you guys in a little bit. But first, let's get to doing this interior. Quick little time lapse later, and the inside of the dome is complete. Right, I think it looks pretty nice. Now, these sorts of background gradient sort of things generally don't work that great on a dome, but I think it came out all right. Uh, so it's meant to be like a, a little bit of green off in on the horizon. Then you got the sunset, and then it turns into clear sky. Right. Um, I think it looks nice, and I think if if the apocalypse ever were to happen, um, locking myself in here would be less maddening <laughs> than uh, than just just not having that right. So we got a nice little sunsetty kind of interior. I don't know. I, I I thought it was a nice idea. Um, it's one less thing to have on my uh, on my conscience and on my to-do list, so I'm happy with that. Now, speaking of more things to do, uh, a little bit of time has passed, and as you can see here, I have, whoops, I have started doing a little bit of planning as well for what we're gonna be doing next. So, let's kick off another time lapse, shall we?
are you picking up what I'm putting down? Are you seeing where this is going? All right, we are starting to build ourselves a bit of a complex here. Now, yes, before anyone says one road like this does not make a lot of sense, but don't worry, more roads are going to come uh, in due time. So we've added in this little road here, and I'm thinking I'll probably branch it off at this point here somewhere, or maybe here, and take it off to do some other things as well. So we got this road, and then we have the nice retainer wall. Um, and then through here, there are some stairs going up to a little bit of a power cell. You guys might remember this from uh, my industrial deco video tutorial. Yeah, go check that out. Yeah, thanks. Okay. And uh, yeah, so we got we got these we got these power. Yeah, I'm I'm not entirely sure, but then it has a battery cell here, and if we head on up to over here we also have this beautiful satellite dish um yeah I, I i just called my own satellite dish beautiful what do you want uh oh it's getting dark but before i go sleep i also just want to point out that there is actually now a landing pad up here i should probably put in some uh yellow demarcations to to signify that it is a landing pad but something's gonna come in here as well as down here you guys have seen the uh the garage that's been here for a while i have plans for it don't worry things are gonna go in there but let me just quickly sleep all right sleep has been done and now we get to the actual hangar right so we have the security booms over here and then we have a security booth here um we'll probably end up putting another one of the security bots in here with the door um, and I'm thinking about putting some kind of retinal scanner door in here because this is where the lift is going to be coming out. I haven't dug it down just yet, but that is going to be where the lift is coming out, right? It's got the horizontal rolly door that's going to open up for the lift and we'll be able to bring robots and stuff straight out of the robotics lab up into here. There's also another corridor here that I need to actually close off that leads into this back area um which I st i'm still not entirely sure what i want to do with it but i figured you know what we'll just connect it up for the just in cases right then we have these lovely details running along all the walls um if you guys have seen that another big rolly door this is where the robots and things will be coming out of that elevator there's also a little bit of space up here for some storage which i'm still deciding how i want to detail that but yeah, that's pretty much like the interior. Like, it, there's a, a bit of an interior garage and an, and an office here. And then there's a big space here, which I know exactly what I'm going to put here. I just, I think I've run out of time for today. I'll have a look after this bit and see if I maybe have some time. Otherwise, I'll let you guys know. We'll probably do it in the next episode. Then we have some massive rolly doors out the front of this. Um, uh, uh, eh, eh. Let me just get here. Okay, so we got these massive rolly doors. I think this uh, this hangar came out looking pretty snazzy. I am very, very happy with the way that this looks and how it ties in with everything. Now, at some point, I'm probably going to end up putting like um, a burner back wall here for, for jets and things taking off. And then we'll probably put in a runway, right? We're going to put in a runway here. Um, the road's probably going to come around this side of the dome and hook up to maybe a warehouse or something else in here. And then I might put in, well, not might, I am going to put in a bit of a harbor around the outside of this. So yeah, that's pretty much the hangar. So what do you guys think? Do you think this complex makes any kind of sense? Um, I mean, technically, this is still the office of the health and safety inspector, right? So once we have this complex done, I'm probably still going to be putting in uh, a big old uh, security wall with some guard towers and everything around the perimeter of this thing. Um, but yeah, it, it's basically just a, a big anti-apocalypse, be prepared for anything kind of thing. And uh, I think it's coming along nice. So what do you guys think should be in these areas? That is what I need to know from you. Um, what sort of things does a military health and safety anti-apocalypse compound facility need, right? Let me know.
As for the uh, the vehicles and the things that I'm going to be putting in here, if anyone's been paying special attention to some of the hints that I've been dropping, you might have an idea. But only might. And if you didn't catch it, I don't blame you. I think I was a little too subtle on it. But that's going to have to do it for today, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please do leave it a like. It'll really help me out. And subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic day and see ya. Yeah, I'd say we're almost ready for phase two. <laughs>